In this video, I'll show you how to verify a smart contract using Etherscan on Remix. So here are the steps that we'll follow. We'll deploy a smart contract, and then we'll check on Etherscan that this smart contract is not verified. Next, we'll activate the Etherscan plugin inside our Remix, get the Etherscan API key, and we'll also set that up inside this Remix. Next, using the Etherscan plugin, we'll verify the smart contract. And lastly, we'll check that our smart contract is actually verified on Etherscan. And here is the contract that we will deploy and verify. So the first step is to compile this contract. I'll hit Control S and I see a green check here, which means that the contract compiled. So the next step is to deploy this contract. I'm going to be deploying this contract on the Gordy testnet. Click on the deployment tab and then I'll switch over the network to injected provider. Make sure that I'm on Gordy testnet and make sure that I've also selected this contract, test verify contract. And for the constructor arguments, I'll put in one and then two. And then hit transact to deploy the smart contract. And then click confirm on my MetaMask. Okay, the transaction was successful. Let's check our contract. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna copy this contract address and we'll head over to Etherscan to check our contract. So this will be step two. Okay, so I'm inside Etherscan for Gordy testnet. I'll paste the contract address inside the search bar and then hit search. Once we navigate to our contract page, I'm going to scroll down and click on contract. And this is our contract code. Notice that it is in bytecode and not in solidity. So the next step is to use Remix and we'll verify this contract so that once we verify it, we'll see solidity code over here. Okay, so back inside Remix, our next step is to activate the Etherscan plugin. To do that, I'll click on this plugin icon and then search for Etherscan. Then we'll activate the plugin Etherscan Contract Verification. Click Activate, and once the plugin is activated, you'll see an Etherscan icon on the left. We'll click on this, and this is what the plugin looks like. But before we can use this, we'll first need to set up the Etherscan API key. So that will be step four. So to do that, I'm going to go back to Etherscan. I've logged into Etherscan.io and I'll get the API key by clicking on sidebar menu, scroll down, and then click on API keys. Once you navigate to the API keys, I'll scroll down again, and then I'll copy this API key. Next, we'll paste the Etherscan API key inside Remix. So to do that, I'll click on this settings icon. And then I've already pasted my Etherscan API key inside here, inside Etherscan access token. So we've completed step four and we're moving on to step five, which is to actually verify the contract using the Etherscan plugin. So to do that, I'll click on the Etherscan plugin and then we'll select test verify contract. And for the contract address, we'll click on the deployment tab, scroll down and copy the address of the contract Go back to the plugin and then paste it here. So this is the contract address. Now we also need to put in the constructor argument. So when we deploy the contract, remember that for the constructor arguments, we passed in one and then two. So what we need to do is paste the hex encoded constructor argument inside here. To get the constructor argument, I'm back on Etherscan on the page that shows the transaction details, the transaction that deployed the smart contract. So scrolling down, I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm looking for input data. So this is the data that was used to deploy the smart contract and the constructor argument is also included in here. I'm going to scroll all the way down and I know that the constructor argument is over here. Here I won't get into detail how I know that this is the constructor argument. One way you can guess is that it's followed by a lot of zeros. So I'll just copy this. And back inside Remix, I'll paste the constructor argument. Paste it here, and then click on verify. Once you submit a request to verify a smart contract, you can check the status by clicking on receipts. Check over here and we can see that this smart contract was verified. So let's go back to Etherscan and check that this smart contract is actually verified. Okay, so I'm back inside Etherscan and this is a smart contract that is not yet verified. I'm going to refresh the browser and our contract should be verified. So I'll hit Ctrl R to refresh the page and our contract is now visible as Solidity code. Our contract is verified. 
So in this video, I showed you a demo of how to verify a smart contract using Remix. Thanks for watching and for more video like this, please consider subscribing.